Are you well? Morning, dear. I don't even know what to start telling you. Careful, lady. Oh, excuse you. Hello, this mister. This land of equality yeah, boy, is a sham and a disgrace. You know, young man, you look like a bad girl. You're walking away from history, you fools! Bonjour. Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty? But somehow, I am not free to vote? Who says that? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met. Morning, dear. You, my friend. What do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Bonjour. Price fuck. Hello, sir. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Don't you wanna be rich? A little more space here to operate would be appreciated. You wanna be poor like the rest of these fools? You're going the right way about it. <laughs> You've got what you deserve! You're ignoring me and all I could offer you! <laughs> Buy this goddamn book! It explains high finance in very simple terms and how you can laugh at poor people in much the same way I do. Hold. Beard sure looks ready for a trim. So what'll it be today? Ah, looking sharper than a tack. Ah, suits you. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, oh, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Perrin's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson... Well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkertons showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope oh. and hope for the best. Ah. You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. The 
decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the park. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Valdesario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> Recalling the uh, Blueson's discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard, and take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Nope, not there. Please hurry. Hmm, that could be him. Yep, that's him. What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! This is absolutely... 
absolutely insane. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. You can get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Where's Annisburg? Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased! Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Egg feels decidedly scrappy. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave it for one day? Just kill these sons of bitches!
left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of like him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Okay, my girl.
Yep. Welcome back. Yeah, that's the way. 
If you wouldn't mind coughing in your sleeve, sir, I really can't afford to get sick again this month. Why don't you just do your job? Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. It's just a polite request is all. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry about all the best. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. jail, but it weren't my fault. I'm sure. It's not That's enough now, partner. <sighs> You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off! Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. <clears throat> Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen, listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness, but... Don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. 
I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Or help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. Mama! Mama! Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh you silly boy. Oh, Archie, what oh, we do? Get out of here. Go live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. <sighs> don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Hey, mister. How do you do? All right, girl. Gentlemen, Bella, you look like a man on a mission. Oh. <laughs> Bertram, police! No, Bertram, morning, say sir. no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. 
It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Girl. taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little no, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom in the back. No. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof! Bertram, put the nice man down! Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Jerry! Bertram! Easy, big Bad. guy. Bertram. Easy, boy. Enough! Cut that Bertram, out! Bertram, get a whoopsie! Ouchie! No fair! Well, well, let's be friends, okay? Mean man! Not his house, right? That's his money, Bertram. He's Bertha. strong, all right. Bertram, I heart you. He's gonna deal with this. Still think you're tough? Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram.
Sadie, I really can't. I must come. A husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be. Well, it's gonna be violent. I can handle myself just fine. I'm coming. Like I said, ain't happening. You got a boy. Insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you! Thank you both! All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? <clears throat> okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh... Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Hey, I think so. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. 
You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, <laughs> sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Oh, uh, is he a nice feller? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Shut up! Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, uh, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up. 18, well, this 18, poor fool's going to get his brain <laughs> shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Take the pistol! Let's clear these and make a run for it!
Let's go. Look out on the left. Coming from the board. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs>
always seem to need rescuing, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us! Turn that boat around, or we will gun you down. Can't do it. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told, Dan. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur, he was like, like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or um, maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then? Arthur. Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was 
talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Arthur! Arthur! Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Hi, Mary Beth. Hello, Arthur. How are you holding up? What's the plan here? Is Dutch gonna be all right? Uncle. Hell of time, Arthur. You no. Know, you might want to think about getting out of here soon. No, I'll be with you boys till the end. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. Are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. speak of course what's wrong i'm frightened i'm so very arthur thank you thank you so much we ain't done yet abigail dutch seems to have lost his mind i know just be careful i don't have to be careful have you as a friend. I have been saved from hell. We are going to die. Of course, but not yet. And the path shall become... 